Hello, I'm Nelson Cowan, and I have with me today one of my co-authors, uh, Dr. Timothy Ricker, and uh, we're going to talk about our recent uh, study in developmental science, Knowledge Cannot Explain the Developmental Growth of Working Memory Capacity. And uh, we know that working memory increases with development. Working memory is a very important function of the human mind, so it's the small amount of information that we hold in mind. We need this as uh, compared to the vast amount of information in long-term memory because we need to hold information in mind when we're comprehending language, solving problems, and so forth. Uh, listening to language, one has to keep in mind the beginning of the sentence and integrate it with the end of the sentence in order to make sense of what is being said. And the same with paragraphs and uh, just casual speech. Uh, in mathematics, one keeps in mind partial products on the way to the final solution of the problem. And even in practical problems, uh, it's very important to have and use working memory. So for example, in packing a suitcase, one needs to be aware of uh, where am I going? How long am I going to be there? Uh, what is the weather forecast? What is the season? What is the purpose of the visit? And all of these factors, keeping in mind uh, these factors at the same time, uh, determine how the problem is solved. Well, uh, even though we've known for a long time that working memory improves or increases with uh, childhood development, we haven't known uh, why it develops. There have been various theories. One theory is just that with increasing knowledge, uh, people become better able to combine information into larger groups and therefore that, that it's less of a strain on working memory. So for example, if one were shown uh, a random array of English letters on a screen and had to remember them, a young child might just have to remember each uh, letter individually whereas an older child or adult might look at the letters and find information uh, that corresponds to their knowledge, such as finding FBI or BLT, something that they know. And so uh, we set out to try to answer the question of whether knowledge alone could account for working memory development. Um, fortunately, uh, Dr. Ricker has been working with materials that allow us to examine that question. Most studies tend to use uh, memory stimuli that are very familiar, uh, words, uh, pictures of dogs or tables, um, information that our participants in our studies are likely to develop knowledge about as their lifespan increases. So instead we chose to estimate memory capacity in our study using lists of unfamiliar characters uh, for our participants. Uh, our participants are all English speakers and uh, primarily only English speakers and we used letters and numbers from uh, Cyrillic and Arabic languages, many others as well, um, but these sorts of stimuli that are very aesthetically similar to uh, English letters but uh, are very, also very unfamiliar to our participants. So it's pretty safe for us to assume that these sorts of unfamiliar stimuli do not have uh, an increasing knowledge base uh, for our older participants and for our younger participants. Uh, however, when we estimate capacity using these stimuli, uh, we still see an increase in capacity as age increases, uh, which we think is fairly strong evidence in favor of uh, or against knowledge as uh, the only contributor to increasing uh, memory capacity. The amount of information that one can remember from unfamiliar characters is rather small compared to the amount from English letters, so it is the case that knowledge does play a role and that knowledge does increase with development. But even when we look at the unfamiliar characters, there's a rather profound change over childhood. So uh, between the ages of seven years and adulthood, you find uh, that the amount that can be remembered of these unfamiliar characters uh, triples. And uh, so we're confident from our uh, data and from the, uh, from the details of the analyses in the paper that uh, some of the developmental increase in working memory capacity, a substantial amount of it, is not due just to knowledge. And educators need to be aware 
that as the brain matures, there's an increase in working memory capacity that uh, results in the ever increasing ability to solve problems and uh, comprehend complex information and materials need to be kept uh, in line with the child's developmental ability. So uh, we hope that if you have any questions you feel free to uh, correspond with us. You can reach me at my email c-o-w-a-n-n -N, at missouri.edu. Thanks, we look forward to hearing from you.